this is Brian again. Well, I'm at the top of that gully, the second one. Joined what looks like the old dirt track cutting right through here. So now I'm on the ridge line. From here, I'm guessing it's going to be about another four to five hundred foot elevation gain. I believe this is the dirt track that leads to Valley View Road or Valley View Drive in Wrightwood. Wrightwood. So I might, might go down this gully on the way back. And just like the first gully, it me mellowed out quite a bit. But now, I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to be on track. That feels good to be on a pathway. I'm not gonna lie. So there's a little dirt track. I believe this is the one. Wait a minute, here's the main one right here. This just leads up to it. This looks like, this is the main drag right here actually. This leads down to Valley View Street, or Valley View Drive, Valley View Road, whatever. Just say Valley View. So I'm now out of the cross country portion. Now it's just following this up to finding the high point. Here, I want to say we're about an elevation of 6,300. 50 feet, roughly. I know we're above 6,300. So we're definitely above the 6,000 foot contour. Which means I think the hike's going to get a little easier. Beautiful pinion woodland up here. I saw some Joshua trees. Where did I see them? Hopefully I'm heading towards them. I think I want to get a close-up of them. Alright. They're off to the right somewhere. I just want I saw some. Maybe I'll see more. I don't know. I still have about a 400 foot climb ahead of me, so definitely easier than it was before. Easy? I don't know. Looks pretty steep. But, oh here we are. It's actually on the left side of the trail. Yep, there's Circle Mountain again. Don't think I'm going to be hitting that today. Considered it. Oh yeah, here we are. Some beautiful yucca brevifolia. Some Joshua trees. Gorgeous up here. So we got two types of yuccas up here. Yucca brevifolia and then chaparral yucca. 
Hespero Yucca Whippley. So we got two types around here. Now it's just a matter of following this old Jeep track up to the top. Beautiful Joshua trees. Nice. Not as tall as they get in the lower elevations. The ones at the higher elevations, like here, probably close to 6,400 feet. They tend to be more clumped and shorter in stature. I don't know if that's Forma herbertii, Yucca brevifolia Forma herbertii. Might be, but this is very similar to the ones that grow in the Scotty Mountains and the southern tip of the Sierra Nevada above Walker Pass. Very similar, shorter stature. The ones down at the bottom are definitely more tree like. These are a little shrubbier, multi stemmed, pretty indicative of higher. Elevation Joshua trees. I mean, I've seen them as high as almost 7,000 feet in the San Bernardino Mountains near Big Bear Lake along the Pacific Crest Trail. We're like between 6,800 and 7,000 feet. It's like a small stretch of it. And the high point was about just about 6,000. 950 feet, maybe a little higher, but, well, feels good to be back on trail, not going to lie, that was kind of a challenging climb, looking back towards, that's Wright Mountain right there, here you got that bald spot covered in the snow, that is the slide from 1969. There's a big slide that washed down from the top of Wright Mountain. So that's the summit of Wright Mountain right there, 8,505 feet. Been up there twice. Once all hike one one time I the last time I did it, I hiked from Guffey Campground. Makes it a relatively short hike. Pretty easy one from there. But then we went to Pine Mountain which made it a much tougher hike. Well, the first time, first time I did Wright Mountain was from all the way from Angeles Crest Highway at Inspiration Point Vista. Hiked along a combination of Blue Ridge Truck Trail and Pacific Crest Trail and a little bit of use trail and cross country at the very top. And then before that, before I went up there, I went up to the top of that which is a frost benchmark. They also call it Blue Ridge. That's just shy of 8,500 feet, just shy of it, like 8480. So I hiked, the, hiked those all the way from Angeles Crest Highway. It was a very long day. So here I am. Still got a little ways to go. Still got some climbing to do. Basically, I'll see you near or at the top of East Table Mountain.